What's up everybody? This is Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles and today I decided to do a video on uh, boa constrictor feeding and their frequency and schedules and things like that. So you're going to see all kinds of different opinions on this. This is my opinion. Um, I've done a couple different things this year and last year in the past few years where the frequency used to be a hands down every seven to ten days and you start seeing people now say, so this is specific for baby boas or, or, or raise ups. Uh, you see a lot of people saying no sooner than every 14 days and different stuff like that. So I have a few different snakes here that were all fed on different schedules. Some of them were fed on the same, but if you go by the every 7 to 10 day rule or every 10 to 14 days, uh, you're going to get different results. I personally am now feeding every 7 days for my babies and I think everything is healthier. It's all doing better. It's thriving. So what I have here is this is a snake. This is last year's baby, and this was fed every uh, seven, I'm sorry, this was fed every 14 days. So every two weeks, this snake got a meal that was appropriately sized, uh, about as thick as the thickest part of its body, maybe a little bit thicker sometimes, or a little bit smaller, but, so that snake was every 14 days. This is one of the litter mates next to it, and this snake was fed every two weeks. I'm sorry, every seven days. So there's a huge size difference where this snake is probably 24 inches and this girl's maybe three feet uh, both of them are females all these snakes out here are females and like that this snake down here was also fed every 14 days so you see there's a huge size difference within the same litter uh, genetics are the same same father and everything so again every seven days every 14 days every 14 days and this is this year's baby that was born I don't know, maybe June or so. And you can see the size comparison. This, These snakes are literally a year apart. Um, this one was fed every 14 days. This one here was fed every 7 days. And if I stand back a little bit, I know the lighting sucks, but you can see that this, this year's baby is much bigger. Um, still looks really healthy. It actually looks better than, than the ones that were fed every 14 days. I've noticed when you feed them less frequent, they, they seem to get this round kind of fat looking appearance to them. So if you see her, and then you compare it to this snake that was every seven days, uh, it's kind of hard to see her from the back, but she's just a perfect shape, perfect condition boa compared to this one. And this one looks pretty good here, but this, this girl here, she's just looking kind of fat and overweight uh, compared to the other boas. And then this one here, who's, who's checking out the mouse in the other, in the other one's cage, uh, you can see that's a perfect looking boa as well. So, I mean, make up your own mind. I'm not going to tell you what to do or what, what you should do, but I'm feeding all my baby boas from about zero to a year old every seven days. Once they get to a year or two years, depending on how they look, I'm going to feed them every seven days, maybe every 14 days. And then I feed my adults um, every two to three weeks. But I'm not giving them something that's massive. I'm giving them something that's the appropriate size. So I know this is scaled up here, but this snake right here would be on a mouse to a small rat. If I was feeding it every 14 days, I'd do the small rat. If I was feeding it every week, I'd do the mouse. So she's still eating mice right now. Uh, this one obviously sees in the small rat. So this snake could probably take a medium rat. A small rat might not even put a lump in it. But I found that feeding smaller items more often or more frequent help uh, they just seem to make a better looking snake as they grow so again make up your mind hopefully this helps some of you guys out there um i know i'm gonna get shit for this from a lot of other people but that's okay and um leave some comments things like that let me know